I'm gonna click it. I'm not even gonna let, I'm not even, I haven't let, I haven't let, who have I got? Who have I got? Who's my best player? Please, please let it be a team of the year, please, please. Oh my god, please, let it be. Something good. Give me someone good. Come on, 100k pack, baby. 100k pack. FIFA is a game that holds a special place in all of our hearts. A game that for many of us has brought highs and lows, joy and sadness, and pure memories and moments of nostalgia. And when we look back on this game, on our old FIFA days, we're reminded purely of the good times. When you see a clip of KSI or Rochelle packing Ronaldo, oh or a video of Spencer FC's Wheel of Foot tune, or when you hear a snippet of your favourite FIFA song of all time, or even when you're reminded of some of the old FIFA cards that were rinsed by everyone playing the game back in the day. All of it just brings back a moment of pure happiness. Maybe that's because FIFA isn't what it once was today. And in my opinion, it isn't what it once was. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't played FIFA in a while, like a long time, and that's because I just couldn't. When I play video games, I want to play them for fun and enjoyment, and in my opinion, that fun and enjoyment that comes with the game disappeared years ago. Because it feels like nowadays, FIFA is a hustle that you have to get through, and isn't necessarily being played for the pure joy and fun of it. And one of the reasons I actually stopped with this game was the constant for champion grind. Having to hustle through 30 games, 40 games in FIFA 17, all in one weekend, just for me to get gold 3 or gold 2, and then get nothing in my rewards. Sent me insane. But I kept going with it. Every weekend, the grind was on. I'd wake up early, I'd go to sleep late, just to get all of these games played in the space of a few days. Because that was a normal thing to do, as FIFA, as we all know, is well known nowadays for dropping these sort of limited time events, promos, and SBC cards and objectives. Objectives, where if you don't complete these within a certain time you miss out and then just like that everyone else is ahead of you and you've fallen behind which makes you want to continue to grind the game even if you don't really want to it's almost as if you're forced to play the game to keep up with everyone and the content that EA bring out and I think the amount of content that FIFA chans out has contributed to the fall of this game that we once loved and you know the amount of promos that are released every day all these different crazy cards and don't get me wrong it's good to push out content but don't overdo it I mean, I don't play the game nowadays, but what the hell is a future stars icon? Makes no sense. And you can just tell that at this point, EA are sort of almost out of ideas on how to make their game better. So they just push out the most random content you'll ever see in the hopes that you'll give them your hard earned money to pack one of these new cars so you can keep up with the pack. Nowadays, in my opinion, it feels like within the first few days or months of FIFA, or EAFC I should say, everyone just has a god squad instantly. Considering how easy it is to get these type of cars nowadays, you know, you literally watch a video of someone packing a team of the year, or even an icon, and there is no reaction at all, because it isn't good market value, or it's just going to be used for your next SPC. And I think that one of the reasons that the game has become so dull to people nowadays, you know, you compare to back in the day, I remember my friend packing an inform back in FIFA 15, in the Xbox 360 days and we both went mental because it was his first in form and you look at some of the reactions from people playing the old FIFAs when they pack a team of the season or a team of the year or an icon and they go absolutely crazy and you compare that to now when it just feels empty and listen at the end of the day EA is a company and a company wants to make money and you can't blame them for that that's what they're there to do but the way you make your money is also very important and I'm sure we've all heard of the pay to win where I don't know someone like Bates and 
so we'll spend 20k on FIFA points and have 11 icons in the first week of FIFA and it's just the reality of it. The fact that FIFA is a pay to win, whoever is willing to spend the most money essentially wins at the cost of everyone else and that's EA's whole business model. If it makes them money you can't really blame them for that. I know they've had issues in the past in terms of being accused for promoting gambling and kind of is gambling when you think about it. Because there's some people out there <clears throat> who would spend all their birthday money or Christmas money on the game just to get a Tony Cruz if you were lucky. But as I said, EA are here to make money and foot is their unique selling point. That's where everyone spends their time and that's where they have the most players. And you can't really blame them for trying to milk it for as long as possible. And you can sort of see it in other areas of FIFA as well. For example, Pro Clubs hasn't got an update in God knows how long. Career mode, I know they've made a few tweaks, but still nothing major. The journey as well, to be honest, I don't really know what happened with that because I played like twice, but you can see my point. And as I said at the start, FIFA is what has brought us so much joy and memories in the past. So maybe we all are just being blinded by the power of nostalgia. And it's not just FIFA necessarily. Like the last time I played the Call of Duty was Cold War. And that was God knows how long ago. And I haven't played it since. And to be honest, for a game to be fun and replayable, it needs to have some sort of challenge, some sort of progression that gives it that replay value. And that's why we play video games and that's why they're so addictive to play. We play it because we want to unlock the next camo or get one of the latest promo cards or whatever. And I feel like with all the new content that's being forced out by EA, it's making the game easier. And when a game gets easier, it becomes really boring. And when we get bored, we just end up picking up a new game because we want a new challenge. And with FIFA for me personally, there hasn't been really any sort of challenge in a long time. And it gets boring and repetitive really quickly and it struggles to have that replay value that loads of other games seem to have. And maybe it's because in general, multiplayer games aren't as fun anymore for a lot of us. And I'm sure you've probably seen all those videos about video games not being fun anymore and all that kind of stuff. And maybe that is true to a certain extent. Maybe these games like FIFA, COD, Fortnite have lost their value, whether that's because of the boring repetitive content, monetization of games, or just the sheer amount of tryhards. I don't know, I just feel like nowadays, multiplayer games in general just don't have that replay value. And they're becoming more and more repetitive and less fun to play with people preferring are much more longer single player games when there's more of a feeling of progression instead of having to hustle through a multiplayer game. So maybe it's not necessarily the games itself, maybe it's the fan base, maybe it's us and maybe we're just getting older and maturing and we have things that are now more important than FIFA or COD but honestly I don't know man. What do you guys feel about FIFA nowadays? Do you think it's actually fallen off or are we just being too nostalgic? Let me know what you think in the comments and if you have enjoyed please be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching this has been Disgusting Ball.